If life had taken 10% longer to evolve on Earth, it wouldn't exist at all. Almost 50 years ago, we said our goodbyes to Voyager 1, sending it on a mission of no return, a mission that was supposed to open new portals in our understanding of the solar system. Like a faithful servant, Voyager 1 has been sending back hordes of data to Earth, exposing mind-boggling discoveries about our cosmos, and taking us on a journey into new worlds we never knew existed. Now Voyager has taken its job too far by dropping an interstellar shocker on the laps of scientists. Scientists couldn't believe their eyes as they glanced in amazement at the astonishing data that Voyager 1 just transmitted to Earth, a terrifying discovery that is on the verge of rewriting cosmic history as we know it. What's this alarming discovery that Voyager 1 just uncovered? Is it true that the Voyager has crossed into interstellar space? Join us on this intriguing cosmic journey as we explore what happened. Interstellar space has seen nothing like Voyager 1 before, as this scientific work of art has explored depths in our cosmos that shock even the best of scientists. This engineering enigma has traveled into regions that we never anticipated, uncovering mind-blowing discoveries that are rewriting our understanding of interstellar space. For over 45 years now, Voyager 1 has unveiled shocking findings that astronomers never envisioned we would come across, at least not in the spacecraft's lifetime. Alas, we couldn't have been more wrong because Voyager 1 has astounded everyone by surviving beyond its expected lifespan. Like a Shakespearean fairy tale, Voyager 1 has not only exceeded its projected lifespan, but has ventured into distances that have left the entire scientific community speechless. We can't help but be in awe of a spacecraft that is billions of miles away from its launch pad, a spacecraft that has wowed everyone with its genius in rewriting the tenets of space exploration. Thanks to Voyager 1, scientists have been forced to discard some limiting beliefs and embrace new thought models when it comes to interstellar space voyages. It's almost like we were learning from the books right from scratch. Voyager 1 has held everyone spellbound by its insane ability to still send back data to Earth despite its extremely far distance in space. What's more dumbfounding is that we are constantly receiving data from the spacecraft despite its outdated technology. It doesn't make sense. The spacecraft doesn't care about how this makes us feel because it has widened a surprise on our faces with its latest goosebumps tingling discovery. This is one discovery scientists haven't stopped talking about ever since they interpreted the recent message that Voyager sent to Earth. It appears that the Voyager may have presented us with the interstellar discovery of the decade, a discovery we didn't have to lift a finger to find. What more could we ask for? The journey to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos didn't start today, but dates as far back as 1965, when the engine of space exploration was just kicking off. We can't tell the story without mentioning Gary Flandro, who worked at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He was the luminous mind tasked with modifying the optimal path for a space probe that would reach the distant giants of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Flandro took on this daunting task with great faith and got to work immediately, putting his pencil to great use for several hours. Then he discovered the unthinkable. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four gas giants would align in a cosmic dance, forming a celestial necklace with the Earth. This was a once-in-a-lifetime event, a historic moment that we may never get to see again. From the data that Flandro had unearthed, it was evident that a spacecraft passing by each planet could gain a speed boost from its gravitational pull, like an invisible rope was pulling it. It dawned on Flandro that a journey from Earth to Neptune would have taken 30 years. However, the script had flipped thanks to the calculations deduced from this finding. According to the captivating image painted in Flandro's mind by this latest finding, this journey could be shortened to 12 years due to these gravity assists. Without wasting time, Flandro relayed his findings to the top brass of NASA and advised that we start making concrete plans to seize the opportunity this remarkable cosmic event would offer us. 
This is because this extraordinary cosmic event only occurs once every 176 years. Like a deer running to safety, NASA sprang into action immediately to avoid missing out on this golden opportunity. The opportunity didn't come as a surprise to astronomers when the space agency launched two twin spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, within 15 days of each other in 1977. The space probes left the shores of Earth for space with one mandate ingrained in their computer system, explore the distant giants in our solar system. Although scientists were optimistic that these space explorers would uncover mouth-watering discoveries, nothing had prepared them for the record-breaking findings that these space probes would stumble upon in this monumental voyage. The twin spacecraft lived true to their name by successfully embarking on a cosmic voyage that has enlightened our understanding of the solar system and interstellar space at large. Naturally, one would expect that their light would be quenched with time. However, we couldn't have been more wrong because these spectacular space explorers continue to blaze strongly in space, exploring depths we never imagined they could visit and keeping us abreast of the findings they unlock through the data they send back to the ground team on Earth. They have secured their place in the history books by venturing into the farthest distances trodden by any space probe in human history. Moreover, they consistently amaze everyone by being the oldest known spacecraft in history. We can't help but have the utmost respect for them because their original mission durations were supposed to last for only four years. However, they shock skeptics and everyone at large by pushing past the limit that had been put on their existence. The story keeps getting more glorious with each passing day, and scientists can't seem to get enough of the astonishing discoveries that the Voyager crafts keep bringing our way. In the early days of their journey, these heroic spacecraft gave us thrilling up-close views of Jupiter and Saturn. They took the veil off our eyes regarding our perception of these giant planets, correcting wrong notions and expanding the lens through which we view these distant planets. Thanks to the voyage across the huge chasm that had limited our understanding of these distant giants, it was slowly filled up as our eyes became configured to the exciting new worlds that we didn't know existed in Jupiter or Saturn. Scientists couldn't hide their astonishment at the fact that these worlds were strikingly more beautiful, active, and dynamic than we could have imagined. Astronomers almost screamed in joy when the data provided by these space probes showed that these planets housed active volcanoes and magnificent ice fields. It was like scientists had been granted entry into a Disneyland filled with the most impressive space discoveries they could think of. Who would have imagined that a spacecraft that is nothing more than a vintage Volkswagen Beetle could tread into uncharted territory and come out with unimaginable discoveries, the kind we haven't seen or heard before? Like a brave hunter daring to go into the thick of a thick forest, Voyager 2 did the unexpected by being the first spacecraft to get so close to Uranus in 1986, and then it continued on this mind-blowing trail till it glided past Neptune in 1989. So far, the history books hold Voyager 2's name as the only spacecraft to have traveled to such lengths in exploring these two ice giants. What historians find more mind-boggling is the landmark discoveries that these iconic visits brought to life. We would have remained in the dark when it comes to our perception of these two distant worlds if Voyager 2 hadn't dared to travel that far, a journey that has placed it over 14 billion miles from our planet. Voyager 1 wouldn't have been able to defy everyone's expectations all by itself. Early on in its journey, it had to receive help. We get to see this when its monumental voyage began with a gravity assist from Venus, a maneuver never attempted before by any spacecraft on their way to Mercury. The Voyager craft's journey is filled with records of many firsts. They kept setting records each passing day as they sailed through the enchanting waves of interstellar space. As exciting as this tale sounds, it wasn't an easy ride for the Voyagers. It seems like a piece of cake now, but decades back, when the space probes were climbing through the different stages of this journey, they had a tense atmosphere overshadowing them. 
We see evidence of this during their multiple attempts to get the necessary maneuver to Mercury. More so, the first leg of their journey to Jupiter was far from rosy, as the voyage took them to a distance ten times farther from Earth than Mercury. This epic journey saw the probes navigate through the unpleasant ways of the asteroid belt, a path that threatened to deter them from their goal. However, the crafts hadn't come this far to be deterred, so they blazed until they crossed the slippery region and continued their glorious exploration of the solar system. Although the Voyager had scaled through the asteroid belt unharmed, its worries didn't end there. There were still a bunch of challenges waiting for the craft along the way as it sailed through space. Scientists recognized the fact that the Voyager was in a tight corner, especially when we consider that it only had 69 kilobytes of memory, which was equivalent to a fraction of a smartphone storage capacity. Hence, the probe's computers had to depend on onboard systems to manage the complexities of their journey. It is interesting to note that the data obtained by the probe's instruments had to be stored on tape recorders before they were sent back to Earth by a modest 23-watt transmitter, which was as powerful as a refrigerator light bulb. Since the Voyager was equipped with 12-foot dish antennas, it could conveniently use radio communication traveling at the speed of light to send and receive messages. Nevertheless, we can't help but be in awe of how these spacecraft have managed to survive in the midst of unfavorable conditions like deep space temperatures, which hover around 50 degrees above absolute zero. It's almost like these engineering marvels feed on the harsh conditions to produce astonishing findings that keep us wondering how far they can go. The spacecraft can function in these tough conditions thanks to their radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RDGs. By converting heat from decaying plutonium into electricity, the RDGs generate power to keep the onboard systems running efficiently. Scientists had reason to believe that the spacecraft would keep sending data from their science instruments for 20 more years after their launch. Although the amount of power decreases by 4 watts annually, these space explorers have defied expectations by functioning optimally 45 years later. They do not show signs of stopping anytime soon, which is why everyone keeps waiting eagerly to see the latest discovery they are about to unlock. Like a racing car picking up speed as it approaches the finish line, Voyager 1 had picked up a speed of 38,000 miles per hour after several gravitational assists. It soared past the moons of Saturn on November 12, 1980, showing no signs of stopping at all. The spacecraft has traveled so far that it is difficult for us to imagine the distance covered. A comparison that puts this into perspective is this. The moon is about one light second away from Earth. The sun is 8.3 light minutes away, and Pluto is over five light hours away from us. Voyager 1 is about 21 light hours away from Earth. Due to the far distance traveled by the spacecraft, it takes about two days to receive a message and send one back to Voyager. Scientists had to configure Voyager 1 to navigate its path independently to avoid collisions with moons, ring particles, and Saturn. The craft survived these obstacles and charted a new course, taking it away from the plane of the planets. The story wouldn't be complete without mentioning the Voyager's historic plunge into interstellar space in 2012. This milestone achievement was signaled by a major drop in solar particles detected by its cosmic ray subsystem, an instrument designed to detect solar wind. This development brought out a chorus of joy from scientists, who hailed this achievement as monumental in space exploration. Thanks to Voyager 1's contribution, we understand interstellar space better and how it differs from our solar system. We have the Voyager space probes to thank for significant discoveries such as active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, the intricacies of Jupiter's ring system, and discovering four new moons around the gas giant. Furthermore, the probes contributed to the discovery of icy geysers on Saturn's moon Enceladus, something we never knew existed before. With these spectacular feats to their name, the Voyager crafts continue to wow everyone with mind-boggling discoveries 
that are pushing us closer to demystifying interstellar space.